For the last 150 years, the Hillside organization has been driven to help neglected, troubled, and abused youth, taking broken individuals and families and sewing up the pieces the best ways possible and allowing the children a better way to live. The Hillside in Auburn can be broken down into three parts, a residential treatment facility, juvenile justice program, and a children's center. Chris Bryant, head of the juvenile justice program, works hand in hand with the delinquent and troubled youth daily. These kids, he said, don't get messed up on their own. Somewhere, someone did something wrong and now they have to pay for it. On average, the program ranges from six days to six months in the juvenile justice center. They typically see ages from seven to 17, and at any given time, they can have as many as 32 kids in the program, but as it stands now, there's only six at the Auburn location. When arriving, each child is given a curtain for the window, beds, for beds and sheets, and that's it. In order to decorate the walls and have freedom time outside, each child must behave according to the rules and regulations that are set forth by the counselors. For example, the points values go as follows. A, B, C, honors, and super honors. Each level grants them something new, whether it's pictures of their family on the wall, posters of favorite celebrities, playing the Wii, playing the Wii or going off campus to places such as Walmart and the Finger Lakes Mall, these kids are constantly being rewarded for the good things that they do. However, all is not good in the land of Hillside. If a child is here, it means they were mandated by the courts or by organizations such as the Cuyahoga County Public Safety Building, which is in cooperation with the Sheriff's Department, which mandate that they stay. These children were either abused at home or have neglected to go to school or constant runaways. So in order for them to maintain a positive lifestyle and complete the program, they must do as follows and allow everything to fall into place. The counselors ask that these kids stop and think about the things that they're dealing with and hopefully have a better way at life. Sometimes though, that doesn't happen and their program receives the same kids over and over again. But the hope does not die in the eyes of the counselor nor the child.